So you're playing Pokemon, and there's 151 of these little creature guys, and they all got these funky names. And some of them you can probably figure out why they were called the way they were called, but others maybe not. Well, I'd like to address that today. Hello, my name is Ethan, aka Swan Dizzle, aka Ethan, and today we are going to explain the meaning behind the English names of the first 151 Pokemon. Here we go! Okay, I think these first couple are pretty pretty self-explanatory, but let's go through it. So Bulbasaur. Bulb, plant, sar, like a like a dinosaur, you know, checks out, right? Ivy sore, ivy, another plant, you know, it's budding from that bulb, sore, same deal. Venusaur, okay, so like like a Venus flytrap, you know, like a, it kind of bulbs out and he looks all freaky and stanky. Meat-eating plant, right? There's another one like that. We'll get there. And again, soar. Lizard, dinosaur, you know. Okay, Charmander, char, burning, salamander, Charmander, char. Yeah, you got it. Uh, Charmeleon, still char, the burn. Melian, chameleon. I don't know if he really looks like a chameleon, but that's what they were going for. Char, zard, charizard. That's just straight up like burn lizard, right? We got Squirtle, squirt, squirting water out, water gun, pew. turtle, squirt turtle, squirtle. To be honest, I kind of wondered if it was like squirrel, the way he's got his little tail going, but yeah, that makes sense. Next up is war turtle, war, tortoise, war tortoise, war turtle, tortoise turtle, war tortoise turtle, war turtle, war turtle. You got it? Blastoise, those big blast and water cannons, tortoise, blast toys, you got it. Caterpie, it's a caterpillar. Metapod, so like meta, metamorphosis, you know, you got the caterpillar, it goes into a pod, mm, a metamorphosis pod, metapod. And you got Butterfree, it's a butterfly and it's free, it goes wherever the hell it wants to. Okay, Weedle, it's a needle worm. It's got a little needle and it's a little worm. Worm needle. Weedle. Cocoona. Same deal. It's not a metapod, but it's in a it's in a cocoon. They had to figure out something, I guess. Bee drill. It is a bee. It has drills. Pidgey. It's pigeon. It's bird. Pidgeotto. It's pigeon. It's bird. Pidgeot. It's pigeon. It's bird. Rattata. Or when I was a kid, I used to call him Ratatat. I don't know. Same deal. It's a rat. It goes rat -tat 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 -tat. eradicate. It's a rat, but it's gonna eradicate not a not eradicate the rats, but eradicate everyone else. Spiro, the sparrow. It's got a pretty spear. The sparrow gonna spear ya. Spiro, pow. So if you were already scared of Spiro, now you're gonna be really fearful of Firo. It's the fear Spiro. Ekans, it's snake backwards. Probably already knew that. Arbok, it's cobra backwards. You also probably knew that. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. Okay, Pikachu has the same name, English, Japanese. Pika Pika is the Japanese sound for sparkle. Pika, 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 Pika. And Chu is Japanese for like a squeak sound, automatopoeia. Chu, 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 Chu. So it's like a sparkling squeak. Electric mouse Pokemon? Yeah. Same goes for Raichu. So Rai is the Japanese for thunder. And Chu, again, squeak, squeak, squeak. Sand shrew, literally sand, literally shrew. Sand, rocks, dust, and shrew, uh, a rodent. Sand slash, sand slash. They, they, they didn't mess around with this one. So back in the first generation of Pokemon, there wasn't like true genders. So that's why we have Nidoran female. So Nidoran female, uh, like in Japanese, uh, Nidoru, like needle, and rhino, it's like a needle rhino, female. We got Nidorina, again, Nidoru, needle, rhino. They added an ah, sounds more feminine, yeah. Nido queen. Queen, royalty, Nidoru, Nidoru, queen, 
Queen Needle, baby. Woo! Same deal goes for our Nidoran male. Nidorino versus Nidorina. And Needle King. Needle King. Royalty. So Clefairy. Clef. Music. Fairy. Some music fairy. Didn't they used to sing in like the anime? Clefairy. 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 And then you got Clefable. Uh, you got a, a. You went from a music fairy to a music fable. Which is like a story that could be about fairies. So Vulpix comes from Vulpine, which is like related to foxes, uh, with the ending of six. So it has six tails. Nine tails, again, they did not mess around. It has nine tails. I don't know if Jigglypuff needs any more explanation. Jigglypuff. Oh, but Wigglytuff? Don't mess. Don't mess with the tough. The Wigglytuff. Yeah. Zubat. Uh, comes from Zubato, Japanese for the sound of something being hit. Maybe because we just absolutely destroy Zubats in these caves. Um, and a bat. It's a bat. Zubato. It's a bat. Gollop? Zubat is go Golbat is Gollop? Golbat, Gollop, and Bat. Gollop, just, just eat. Look how big his mouth is. Just stuff your face. So Oddish is an odd plant. Perhaps a radish. It's an odd radish. It's kind of oddish. Gloom. Gloom and bloom, baby. It's a bloom and gloom. You'd think it'd be happy for blooming, but c'est la vie. So vile plume, it's absolutely vile. It's nasty. And we got plumes. It's coming out. Okay, Paris and Parasect make way more sense with its Pokedex entry. I completely forgot about it. Because they're, like, infected with, like, mushrooms, right? That, like, control their, their mind or their body or something. So, Paris, Parasite. Parasect, Parasite, Insect. Yeah. So, Venonat. Uh, Venom. Gnat. Little bug. By the way, it's not so little. Venonat looks huge. I would not want to see that in my house. Venomoth. Venom. Moth. You got it. So, Diglet, Diglet, dig, Diglet, dig. It digs. And it's a, it's a let. Piglet, little. Okay, don't. It's not a pig. But it's little. It's a little dig. Doug Trio. It digs. And there's three of them. Meowth is surprisingly uncomplicated. That's the sound a cat makes. Meow. Persian is a breed of cat. Sigh. Duck. It's a psychic duck. What more do you want? Okay, I looked up a bunch of different websites to explain Gold Duck's name. And it's not super clear. There's some sort of connection in Japanese that like gold being like really good or like special, maybe related to like psychic powers versus like the color of gold. But it's gold duck. It's a duck that has uh, golden powers, let's say. There you go. So manky is a monkey, but manky is also a dictionary word defined as worthless, rotten, or in bad taste. Dirty, filthy, or bad. Rude. So prime ape, prime. It's in its prime. It probably drinks prime energy. It's a primate. You know, monkeys, apes. And it just it is ape. It's a primate ape. Prime ape. Prime, prime, primate ape. Prime, prime, and ape. Take notes. Interesting. Okay, growl F, growl, the dog, right? We got that. Lith, uh, defined as thin, supple, and graceful, usually in reference to someone's body. So it's like a, a little thin growl. It's a little, little doggo. Arcanine, arcane. There's some mysterious ancient magic going on. Canine. He's a big dog. Big fire dog. Polywag. So it's a polywog. Little tadpole. It's got that tail. Polywhirl. Take a look. You'll see a little whirl going on. Polywog, polywhirl. There you go. Polywrath. Now this polywog is pissed. And he's going to show you his wrath. So abracadabra alakazam. It's magic tricks, man. Fun fact. And just within this year, so I don't know if you knew about this, but they actually weren't producing Kadabra Pokemon cards uh, because this illusionist Yuri Geller had like tried to sue Nintendo over using his likeness in a magical creature, but I guess he uh, changed his mind. So there you go. Abracadabra Alakazam.
Machop, Macho Chop, Machoke, Macho Joke, Champ, Macho Champ, Cream of the Crop. So Bell Sprout, take a look at his face. They kind of kind of looks like a bell. It's a sprout. It's a little bell shaped sprout. You got it, Bell Sprout. They ain't messing around. Weeping Bell looks kind of droopy. There you go. He's a little weeping. And it still looks like a bell. So Victory Bell. Victory. And apparently this site says tree. Like it's big. Like a big tree. And also has that bell shape. I think you could probably just leave it at Victory Bell. But Victory Tree Bell. Tentacle Cool. And how could a tentacle be so cruel? Geodude, he's a rock guy. Graveler, it's gravel. Golem, not Golem, but Golem. This is a big rock guy. Apparently from Jewish folklore. So Ponyta, it's a pony. Uh, apparently they threw in like ponytail, a hairstyle that resembles a pony's tail. So that like, I guess it's made of fire. Honestly, if you just told me pony, I'd be okay. Like that would check out for me, but sure. Pony, ponytail, Ponyta. Rapidash. Rapid is pretty fast. I think the Pokedex entry talks about how fast it is. Ash, fire, flames, dash. You could just leave it a rapid dash. Rapid ash dash. Slowpoke, he's slow. That's a nickname. Not just Pokemon. People get called Slowpoke. But, you know, you've come to befriend this Slowpoke. And uh, after, you know, not too long, he becomes your slow bro. Magnemite. Might. Little. Not, not just might, but like might. And magnets, Mag little magnets. Magneton, there's a ton of them now. They weigh a ton. So far-fetched is just a word. Like it's improbable, it's unlikely. Like, uh, full cap, full cap, that's pretty far-fetched. So uh, in the history book, you may have heard of a little bird called a, a dodo that's extinct. What if it had two heads? It'd be a doduo. What if it had three heads? It'd be a dodrio. Seal is a seal. Dugong is a dugong, but apparently they're adding dew, as in like moisture. Yeah, okay. Grimer is dirty. Muck is even more dirty. Mm, okay, so shelter. Yeah, it's got a shell. We figured that out. But when it hides in the shell, it's like a shelter. But it's a shelter. Yeah? Oh, these guys were smart, okay? Cloister. Yeah, it's a clam. It's an oyster. Oyster clam. But the definition of cloister, to confine and seclude oneself. Now we're really, we in there. Ghastly is a ghastly gas. Haunter haunts people. Gengar as related to like doppelganger. You know, your, your shadow person. Onyx is a rock. Drowsy is a word. And when you add more Z's to it, it's very sleepy. Hypno performs hypnosis. Krabby is a crabby crab. Kingler is royalty. And apparently Fiddler is a species of crab. So Kingler, King Fiddler, Kingler. Say it with me now. Volt. Orb. Vault Orb. Voltorb. Electrode? Electric. Electrode. Is a word. Electric explode. Electrode. This seems kind of like much. Like ex execu execute? Execute. Eggs. Obviously, it's eggs. But to execute. Like e execute eggs. Like to ex like eggs that will execute you. Versus I was thinking like. Like they would execute a plan, but they're just going to off you. Exeggutor, eggs. And it is the exeggutor executor. He's going to get you. Even without any hands. Kibone. Kibone, bone. Kibone. It's a cub. He's got a bone. It's a kibone. Marowak, like bone marrow. Like whack. You guys have probably heard these ones before. Hitmon Lee, uh, based on like Bruce Lee, martial arts actor. But if you want to get into it, hit, pow, monster, mon, Lee, Hitmon Lee. Same goes for Hitmon Chan, like Jackie Chan. 
Licky tongue. It licks with its tongue. So coughing is just is is coughing in its own gas. And I guess when you breathe in and cough on this gas for so long, you will probably start wheezing. So rhinos have horns, but let me introduce you to Rhyhorn, which is a rhino that also has a horn. So Rhydon is rhino, and then Don, like uh, like the Don, you know, he's uh, he's the big guy. So Chancy is like chance, like probability. Maybe it makes more sense with the Japanese name being Lucky. That you find one and they'll help you out. They got that little egg, they'll share. You got good chances of succeeding when you got Chansey on your side. Tangela, look how tangled it is. It's a mess. Kangaskhan is the Kangaskhan of kangaroos. Horsey is a seahorse. Seedra is a sea dragon, but it's just a water type. You gotta wait for Kingdra. If you like and subscribe, I'll do a Generation 2 video that will include Kingdra. Let me know. Goldine be the goldfish queen. Goldine, 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 Goldine. And for some reason, the queen evolves into the king. So it's a sea king. Star you is a starfish that uh, is you. It's a star you. And a star me is a star me. It's a star me. A star me. That's Mr. to you. Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime. Scyther has scythes for arms. Jinx is like a curse that could give you bad luck. And it's kind of bad on multiple levels. It's an electric type, electricity, and it goes buzz. Bzzz. Bzzz. Oh, I didn't know this. So magmar, magma, obviously, but mar means like impair, the appearance of, disfigure. Are they talking about his butt head? Pincer has pincers on his head. You could call him Sir, too. Tauros. Taurus. Obviously, it's based on the Ford Taurus. No, silly. I'm talking about the constellations. Magic Carp is a magic carp. What's so magic about it? Mm, I don't know. See what it turns into. Okay, so I'm getting some mixed messages on Gyarados. This website says it's based on, like, Gyre to thrash and turn about or to whirl in a spiral or a vortex um, but other websites say uh, Gyarados may be a combination of Gai Gaikusatsu like slaughter Gaikyo like adversity Gaikuten like turn around reversal Arasu to devastate Odotsu to threaten so I don't know Either way, you kind of got the picture that it thrashes about, and it's pretty deadly. Lapras is the Loch Ness Monster, but like way cuter. Yo, ditto. Same. It copies things. Eevee, short for evolution. Eevee, it evolves into like a bunch of different things. So for the evolutions, an eon is like a long period of time. It goes on for eons and eons. Evolution happens over a long period of time. Vaporeon, water, vapor, jolteon, jolt, electricity, flareon, flare, fire. You got it. So Porygon is polygon, you know, lots of shapes. Would maybe make more sense back in the late 90s. Does anybody remember Smash Brothers with Fighting Polygon Team? Ammonite is an ammonite, a shell fossil. Ite, it's, it's, like it's closely related, I get. Amistar is an ammonite shell fossil. And it's got little points, like a star, you see? Kabuto, a uh, type of helmet used by ancient Japanese warriors. Kabutops. It's like, it's tall now. It used to be really tiny, and now it's come from the top. Kabutops. Aerodactyl is an arrow flying pterodactyl which um that's what they always did right snorlax it's pretty chillax and it probably snores while it's sleeping all right legendary birds uno dos trace mr worldwide arctic it's ice zap it's electric molt molten lava it's fire it's hot dratini it's a teeny teeny dragon now this site says 
dragon air. It's a dragon with air like relating to status and majesty, extraordinaire or something. Dragonite. It is a knight. It is a dragon. It is a dragonite. Mewtwo. It's uh it's the second Mew. Funny how Mewtwo comes before Mew in the Pokedex, but whatever. It's Mewtwo. They made there was Mew and then they made one. They made another one. And they called him Mewtwo. And then there's Mew. Makes cat sounds, doesn't it? Mew. And there you have it, folks. This explains the English names of the first 151 Pokemon. Shout out to the Pokemon database website. That's PokemonDB.net. They actually have the explanation for all of the names on there. The etymology, if you will. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe for lots more Pokemon video game goodness coming soon. If you liked this video and you want to see more explanations of the Pokemon English names, let me know in the comments and we can definitely do a second gen and a third gen and a fourth gen and so on and so forth. Thanks again for tuning in and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.